Hello everybody. Hope this finds you well. I've been uh, having some rough times. Some of you already know that, but uh, I'm getting through. Uh, kind of had to take a couple of days off from my work. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, see that? Tore my hand up. Got infected. My whole arm hurts, and I've been. I'm not able to pick up the block to lay the block, so uh, I'm taking a couple of days to get back together. It's been kind of confusing and everything, you know. You don't realize how bad you are until it starts hitting you. Uh, but I'm okay. I'm taking my vitamins, uh, putting medication on the wound and all that. I will recover. I've had worse. So I didn't realize how bad it was because I can't feel the back of my hand there too well. I burnt my hands a couple of years back. I burnt my hands pretty good and uh, kind of destroyed the nerves in the back of my hand right there. So when I when I gashed myself, I didn't really know it. In fact, I didn't even see it or know I'd done it until I'd seen blood all over the place. And someone said, "Hey, you're leaking." Yeah. Well put some medicine on it, clean it up, put some medicine on it, and put a bandage on it, went back to work. Well, in about a week, started getting kind of rough, got where I couldn't hardly pick up the block, my arms started hurting and stuff. And then the last Saturday I worked uh, a little bit. The job's got to get done. I'm trying to help these people get it done in time. and uh, I'm just another brick, brick layer on the line. And if you can't pick up the blocks, you can't hardly lay the blocks. My hand got hurt so bad I couldn't hardly pick up the block, so I, I had to stop for a while. I will, I will get better. Well, that's that's just me complaining. Pray for me if you wish. God's already looking out for it. I'm not worried about it. it Give me time though that I can talk a little bit about some things. You know, see, last year, about this time, it was that flat earth thing that come out. It was all over the place. I'm, I'm not sure about either way, you know, flat, round. Uh, I won't argue with you about it. I don't see it has any bearing on your soul. And uh, this year, this year around the same time, something else comes out. No trees on the flat earth. That's a big thing going around now. Everybody's all excited about that one now, and it's, it's going around. We live in a time of great deception, people. Great deception show you some pictures what uh, flat earthers I've been dealing with been talking about do we live in a snow globe or uh, you know there's nothing new about this flat earth has been around for a long time has nothing to do with the Bible. The Bible is a spiritual book. It has history in it, yes. It has some scientific truth in it, yes. There are truths in the Bible, but the Bible's not there to give you a geology lesson about the shape of the earth. The Bible is an instruction book. It, 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 it's there to, to give you the tools you need to have a relationship with the Holy Father through Christ the Messiah God made flesh on earth who came down and to set us free from the spiritual bondage we find ourselves in 
There is only one way, that's through Christ alone, through grace alone. Now, having said that, that's not your easy ticket out. You follow Christ. To have Christ, you must follow Christ. If you don't do as Christ commands, and you're not, Christ is not with you. There's no truth in you. You're not helping the widows and orphans, and you're not taking care of the sick and needy and the poor, the less fortunate than you. If you're not spreading the gospel that Christ died for you, and he rose again, defeating death for you, if you're not taking up your cross and following, and you're not a Christian, and you won't have that grace that it's talking about. We're not saved by works. We're saved by Christ's blood. But because we accept Christ's atonement for our sins, and the price for our sins, we now love, go forth, and do those things Christ commanded us to do because we love Christ, not because we want to be saved. Those things aren't going to save us. We do them because we love Christ. His yoke is light. See, I had to give up the world and the things of this world and man's wisdom, which I have been filled with. Even my wisdom is a folly to God. Don't believe everything I say. Trust it. Test it yourself. I'm no guru. I'm no preacher. I'm no saint. I'm just a sinner like the rest of you who needs a redeemer. Who loves that one who came and paid that price for me. And because I am so grateful for it, I cannot help but do those things he commands me to do. Do I do it perfectly and all the time? No. I'm not perfect, though I wish to be perfect. And I strive for perfection in Christ each day. If you're not preaching the gospel, you're wasting your time. Whether the earth's round or flat has no bearing on your soul.